Hi, this is Susan Hamilton, the Richardson Copywriter, and I've got a little bit more information for you for directory listings right now. Uh, I want to talk to you about how important it is to pick the accurate category for your business. And I really want you to search this out and search this out and search this out because each one of these directory listings have a little bit different drop-down menu. Uh, even, a, even Google has a little bit of a different drop-down menu when it comes to choosing your category. So when you click on that, you're going to find something as, as close as possible but then you may need to click on the on that next one. Do it again. Uh, see how many different keywords that you can use that can be used when it comes to describing your business and using identifiable terms that your clients will definitely recognize you with. Here's the deal. If you've gone to all this trouble and you're in the wrong category and you may be accidentally in the wrong category because uh, maybe you didn't look deep enough or your finger slipped or you have already been in there inaccurately, um, you're invisible. You've gone to all that trouble. There's a link to your site but it's not even helping you get found for that term. And you want people that need your services to find you and to be as simple as possible. So I want you to really pay special attention to your category choices, get as close as possible, and then go back and see if there's any way to additionally add categories. Because very, very often you think you, you've got one category in there when you really have several different ways if you simply re-click on that area uh, and then make sure that the category stayed when you go on to the next part of the editing portion of, of your directory dashboard. When you're inside and you're claiming your business and you're setting it all up to look right, make sure that that held before you're done. And the other thing I want to mention with this is that uh, th things can be very time consuming when it comes to knowing whether or not your listing turned out the way that you want it to turn out. So don't um, be too frustrated. Know right now that this stuff can take a day, 24 hours, a week, a month. I've seen 90 days on some of these before because they're not always done at the same time. Some will, some will go ahead and verify and, and make your listing right immediately. And some only do it on a, on a certain basis, uh, you know, maybe every quarter. And it just depends on, on what their rhythm is of doing business. So know that you're going to have to be patient. And I always advise people filling out these listings to go back after three months and see how they turned out. And you know it's ridiculous to assume you're going to go through the 350. I'm suggesting that you do. But of course if you use our service and do it, we're going to send you a report that shows you exactly where all those are. So it's as easy as going through an Excel spreadsheet and clicking on that link and you'll be able to find the where we listed you. But and, and do that yourself if that's what, if you're going to do it. Record where these listings are so it's easy to go back and check your information. You want to know that it listed accurately and if there are problems with it, you need to contact that directory. Find out if it's a phone number you need to call, find out if it's an email you need to leave, and another hint go into the chat room or the FAQs. If you've got any issues with the information that you're loading into these directories not holding, don't ignore that. Don't just think, oh, I'm frustrated, I'm sick of it, and leave, because I know that you're tempted to, because it it, it's really a pain in the butt. So take, that, take a moment to make sure you've at least let somebody know you're having an issue with your listing and give them an opportunity to help you. I've got one more video left in this series. I hope that I hope you're finding them helpful. Uh, why don't you let me know? Make sure you're leaving me comments and if this is helpful. And if you've got any questions or anything else you'd like me to address in any uh, future videos, I'm, I'm always open and receptive to hearing it. Uh, this is Susan Hamilton, the Richardson copywriter, and uh, you'll be hearing from me one more time in this series.